Hello, and welcome back to Potion Craft. Today, we are on day 43. Amazing how long it's been. We've been playing this game for so long. 43 days in game. The giveth of the garden continues to overfloweth. And our favorite, ah, uh, the alchemist is back. The price goes down again. And I bet, yeah, we can actually afford the upgraded alchemy machine. I don't see a reason why not to. You know what? Why not? Let's do it. First thing of the day, let's go in, burn all of our money, and just hope that the lady that sells herbs doesn't come by immediately after. 5460, we've got 6189, but that's another goal achieved. So now we just have to create Albedo, Citronatus, and Rubido. Instead of that, we still have to buy the life salt recipe from him, and then create life salt, and then create the philosopher's stone, which if you didn't know, is at the bottom of this. So we still need to create Albedo, and we create Citronitis from it, and then we create Rubido from that, and we create uh, this. I think it'll take one of each crystal too, so a lot of work, not even close to being done this game. Now I just noticed, we probably could have haggled an extra 5% off that, but that's okay. We're not doing too terrible. Let's put the points into trading. And I think by the end of today, we might have enough for another level. Let's see what the customers need. I need a fire potion that I can toss into a layer of monsters. Well, good sir, I have quite a few that I accidentally made. Yeah, here you go. Good luck. I'm going hunting, and I need to dip my arrows in something to slow down my prey without spoiling the meat. Potion of sticky juice, reverse zoomies it is. Now we need money, so you're gonna pay us. Oh, I could have stopped there. Boop, 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 boop. Cool. Thanks for coming. I need to leap over an enormous crevice, but I'm not much of a jumper. Well, here's a strong potion of levitation. Now we've got a thousand gold plus, uh, whatever this will be, like 500 ish. Yeah, 535. Oh, just in time. Hi. Nice to see you. I have herbs and flowers for you, as always. Take your pick. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'll take that. I need as many of those as I can get. How's our thunder thistle is low? No. Water bloom is low. Uh, what about terraria? How are we doing? Okay, we've got 76 of that. Oh, we can buy it all. There we go. Let's grab all of this. 2,312 and we have 1,539. Boom. <laughs> we got all the way across and that's it. Cool. Pretty good day so far. Makes up for the last 12. I heard that there were potions that can make your skin as hard as rock. Is it true? Do you have any? Mmm. Yes, I do. But I have to make it. Here. I will make five Jake from State Farms. Please, allow Jake from State Farm to keep you safe in battle. Here we go. Good luck with Jake. I need to break into a room unnoticed. I have no problem being stealthy, but the door has a really stubborn lock, and I can't blow it. Too loud. Got any ideas? Mm-hmm, 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 yep, I do. Wait, did I have, like, a... Oh, yeah, I've got the poison. Fake poison. You can have this one. Uh, it was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to make it. Mm -hmm. But I do mean to make a profit off this. Three ninety-nine. I want to rub my sword with something that will make it more deadly. This seems so silly. Like, it could be anything. Like, I know it wants poison, so I'm gonna take this time to, like, look around. So it takes probably any element? Okay. Good to know. There you go, my good sir. 126. Need to cross a deep river. Could you suggest anything? Strong icy chill boy. It's there for you when you don't have anything else. And that's it. Day 43 is done. I kind of feel like we could do a little bit more. How are we doing for ingredients? Uh, let's sort by number. So we've got a lot of wind bloom, terraria, water bloom, fire bells. So we've got all of our basics again. You know what? I think this entire episode. <laughs> now that we got all of the stuff, we've got uh, the upgraded machine. Is that what we bought? Yeah, we got the upgraded machine. Let's spend today just catching up on some of these recipes. So we'll do the albedo, and maybe that'll be enough. I might get bored after that. Let's start on the right and then go to the left. So slow down, growth. Wait, do I have this potion already? 
Slow down growth stone skin. That sounds like... Oh no, I think sleep was... I had a puberty potion. Sleep, fast growth stone skin. Darn it. Ah, oh, that was so close. Okay, so we have to make something similar to this, but instead of sleep, it's slow down. That one's not actually too bad to get. We could do... Let's do stone skin, arc around to slow down, and then grab uh, growth on the way back. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll do fire bell. Grind, grind, grind. Throw that in. Now I'm kind of curious. Uh, let's use the void salt at the end of this, just so we know how it works. I don't really have a use for it at this point. I've kind of figured out how the recipes work, but at least we'll know for the future. Do this one at a, about a 75%, and then the next one at about a 75%. We'll do this one. Should get past those bones. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Very much hope. We just need a level one, so that's fine. We'll just keep going. And let's see if this works. Okay. We should be good. Yep, okay. So we just need, let's double check. Don't want to waste this. Oh, we need a level two. Okay. Oh, we need... Okay, no. We can do this one. So we'll do... Level one of each. Cool. So we'll grab this. But we'll keep that in mind, because we can come back on the next one and do the same path. Now we need to go... Uh, yeah, basically that. That is basically what we need. So we'll do that. If we go too low, then we can come in with uh, some water. Ladle in some water, but I think we've got way... Yeah, we got so much clearance. Cool. And then we just throw this in with a bit of grinding. Oh, wait, no. We're doing a different potion. We're doing the other one. So let's do... Let's throw that back. We'll just do this no grind. There we go. And then ladle. Water, 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 water. Level one. Easy. Ooh, I like that color gradient. It's kind of wonky. There we go. And we'll save this recipe as, um, let's see. Fast growth, sleep, and stone skin. What about arachnid... Arachnid's shell, but it needs a different symbol. Kind of like a spiderweb idea. Basically this. <laughs> like the slowdown, but more mystical. Let's do this. Big old weight in a big old box. Nothing else is speaking to me. Oh, maybe a shield. A stone shield. Yes. And we'll make it uh, a little bit more green, maybe. Maybe a little less green. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Arachnid's shell. Save potion. Before I lose it, uh, where'd it go? There it is. So we'll put this right here. That'll be one of our albedo potions. And that's done. What's next? The next one is the one that I was just thinking about, so we'll do the exact same thing. Just need a tier two, but I'll take the experience on the way back, so it's fine to do it all the way. Oh, literal pixels. Not gonna be able to touch that. No, my experience. Okay, but now we've got potion to slow down. So, uh, let's call this the juggernaut. Jugget knot? Oh no. <laughs> the nugget knot. No, there we go. We'll make it a big. Maybe a red shield. Yeah. Big and scary. And a uh, plus for Juggernaut. I don't know. Save that. Then do a full thing of that. Grab this book. There's our level up. Grab another book. And there's the bones. Let's just grab that one too. Perfect. Finish. What's next? Fire explosion light. Okay. That one's not too bad. Actually, that's pretty good at... Uh, because you can do Lava Root, Holy Ground, into Lava Root, 
Or, I said fully ground, but it really doesn't matter. What matters is that you kind of finish a little bit too low. Do the full swirl. We need a level one for this, so we'll grab it right here. And you know what? This might be a good time to test out my void salts, because I've decided that this is all I want. So if I bring this over, <laughs> you can see it open up. Does it open up on this side? No. So you can kind of like... Hey, look, it's not opening. There we go. Oh yeah, so it just slowly pulls it back. Ooh, that was a lot of salt. He uses like 400 for that much. 332. Yeah, we'll pull this back. And Thunder Thistle is what we want. That was my intention, so I'm gonna follow through with that. I think we do a full grind Thunder Thistle. So we'll have to pull a little bit to the left. Er, sorry, we'll pull a little bit farther to the right so that we can go to the left. Just like that. Bring it up and over. Level one. Now the one thing about this, I can't save this recipe, so I'm gonna have to do it again. Because I don't want to use 300 void salt every single time I brew up uh, an albedo. But that's fine. It's a bit of a learning experience, so there's gonna be a couple mistakes here and there. I'll throw this in. And then if we can manage it, I'd like to... Hmm. How do I want to do this? I want to swirl around. Tuck into the whirlpool just a little bit farther. And go out. Pretty good. And then finish up with just... We need a level 1, so it doesn't have to be super crazy. There we go. And we're not keeping this recipe, because I messed up. Or rather, I didn't mess up, I just, uh, tested Void Salt. We'll bring it all the way back, and finish the potion. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but super fast, so you don't have to watch it again. The only difference will be that I will not use Void Salt. Alright, there we go. Snap, crackle, pop. It's a good little potion. And we'll finish this recipe. So now what's left? We've got invisibility bounce and... Oh, wow, there's so many left. Okay, invisibility bounce is up next though. Let's put these into the machine just so I don't accidentally mess up later. So we've got the triple, the double, and then the wonky snap, crackle, pop. When it's a different color, I get confused. So it'll be this. And then the triple and the double. There we go. So then down here, this big juggy one, we'll put level two, level two. Okay. So I think it's best to start with the bounce and then go from there. So we'll do, mm, yes. Okay, we'll do a basic bounce potion recipe. So we'll do wind bloom. Throw that in, and then we'll do a water bloom to its topmost peak, basically south of the whirlpool. And then a wind bloom will get us into there. And then a thunder thistle to get us out. We just need a level two, so I think that should be enough. So we'll bring this up, spin it around, get to the, this. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit loose with my actions, but it's probably gonna work out fine. Mm, probably gonna work out fine, he said. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We'll do this, and then throw in a beat. Then pull it back. There's our two. And then just a water bloom. It'll get us to the gap. Throw that in, followed by wind bloom, fully ground. Easy peasy, lamb in squeezy. And then probably just another wind bloom. Wouldn't be against a thunder thistle just to spread out 
the ingredient load. Yeah, let's do that. Get two chances at it, which is super good. We just need a level two, so shouldn't be... Oh, you can't even see the potion. It uh, tracks the potion bottle, but sometimes it doesn't track very well. Not a big deal. This game is literally like 0.4.3 right now, so it's not it's not finished yet. That's for sure. Cool. We can't get that book. It's a little bit off. But there's our potion of bounce and invisibility. Let's save it as um, I don't know something silly. Inviso boing. TM. Seems to be a, a running joke on this channel. I don't think there's anything special I want for this. Just save it and we're good. Next up, the uh, literally acid and visions potion. <laughs> okay, did we have something similar to this? We had, oh, uh, we had two mana and two hallucination. Darn, we need one mana. Very cheeky game. Okay, well, we can do this still. Let's do, yeah, we can do mana into vision into hallucination. We'll go up to here, over, and then through this gap. It'll be a little bit tight, but I think we can make it. Lots of experience books over here that I've never touched before either, so I might do that as well. But for this one, we'll start with a witch mushroom into witch mushroom. That will get us the level one mana that we need and line us up uh, due west of this gap. So there we go, we bring this across, grab our level one mana, boop, boop, boop it off. Now, I need to preemptively think this through. I can't just do this without thinking. I'd like to use a green mushroom, maybe a marshroom. So we have two options. Both of them could work. Mm, given that, I think we can just water bloom without really thinking about it too much. And the less I think about it, the harder it will be for me to mess this up in the future if I want to redo this recipe. So we'll just do that, bring it across. Goblin Shroom is on point. That one's pretty good too. That one is pretty good. What do I need? A level two? Level two vision. So Goblin Shroom is probably the better option. What else? What else do we have? Alternatively, we could go super cost effective and do Water Bloom into Terraria. Yeah, let's do that. As long as we make it past this little whoop. There we go. Level two. And then we'll finish that, and then we'll go directly northeast. That's a little easier than the other one. I think Witch Mushroom will get us through without dying, so let's do that. And we want to line it up... Hmm. I kind of want to get these books. It'll make it just less efficient of a recipe, but I kind of want those books, so I'm going to get those books. I really want that book. <laughs> Maybe we can do like a thorn, a gold thorn in here, or a grave truffle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's line up with that whirlpool. Just like that. And then we'll do water bloom into the whirlpool. And then <laughs> do a grave truffle. Yes. Wow, that actually that works out really well, actually. I like that. Do, 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 do. And I think we'll stop near the top. I still want to go north after this, so I don't want to actually track south, I just want to get all the experience. Awesome. So if we make it through this... Okay, yeah. Easy. <laughs> I wasn't worried at all. We grab this, and we can whirl that around. Ooh, that's really nice. Maybe go a little bit farther. That'll track us back onto the whirlpool that we can then whirl around again. That's <laughs> that's fun. I like that. We're doing that. Hopefully I'm dummy thick enough to grab that one, but I'm not going to be hurt if I can't. Do, do. Do. Oh, dummy thick. Beautiful. And there we go. And we whirl around. I don't want to aim for the top-ish area. We don't want to go directly north. It'll be like, kind of like the Thunder Thistle, yeah. So let's preemptively grind this. 
you can already see that it's basically in line with this little square of bones. So all we have to do is add a little bit of, um, a little bit of left, or sorry, right. We have just to go a little right. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, and we grabbed this one too. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. It's a little less interesting to me because, um, I mean, going in this direction, northwest is just pain. It's never good. But I think I can make this work. We'll stay to our low cost budget and do a wind bloom. And then a fire bell should do it. We need a level two. We don't need level three, so I don't have to go all the way with this, but I will because there's a whirlpool and I want more stuff. Here we go. Just follow this along and then line up the arrows. Just like that. Level two. Boom. Not a cheap recipe, but now we have a potion of magical vision, hallucinations, and mana. Wow. That is quite the name. What can we do with this? Let's last a little bit of trickle. Let's do that. Bring it around. Then... Can't really do much. We got that book, so that's pretty good. Grab that. And... Might as well. So this is... Um, big acid. Uh, no, let's call it like extra strength acid. And I think this will look really good in one of those tiny bottles as well. Yeah, just throw an eye on the front. Maybe give it like a bit of a bloodshot tinge to the eye. Instead of like blue, we'll do red and then pull it just a little bit this way. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Save that recipe. Extra strength acid in the books. So let's add those two. The, the bounce Invisibility goes in here, and then this one is for our extra strength acid. Ounce invisibility here, extra strength acid here. Three left. Three left. Wow, this is a lot of work. <laughs> I'm glad I'm saving all these recipes. So this one's just gonna be a pain. Uh, Northwest is just painful, but it's kind of on the way. Like, if I wanted to do a levitation potion, I would probably brew something like this up, anyways. It'll make sense in a second. So we start with an augmented lightning recipe. Where's my fire bells? There we go. Throw that in. No grinding required. We'll do two fully ground wind bloom, just like that. Then we'll do a shadow chanterelle. Uh, no grind. And we'll just stir that. Grab the level one. Very good. And then keep going. And then after that, we'll do one of these. And we know that uh, Fire Bell tracks upwards first, so we want to stop a little early. We'll follow it up with a mostly ground Fire Bell, just to this top peak. Just like that. Fully ground Wind Bloom. And then a red mushroom, maybe? Let's see where that takes us. We need a level two, so red mushroom is no. Uh, lava root is yes. Do that, grind this all the way up. And let's go. Circle all the way around for the level ones. Then the level two is ours. Now we're lined up for getting through this gap. So we can do Tangleweed. Might actually want to water it down a little bit. But now we can do Tangleweeds. We'll do one Tangleweed. We should be able to get two Tangleweeds. Yeah, let's do two Tangleweeds and we'll stop just there. Maybe there. Now I'm a little concerned about this loop right here. So we'll water it back until I'm less concerned, which is about there it all the way around and over and up and down and over and over. Boom. Okay, now we're lined up for our wind bloom into terraria, or not terraria, wind bloom into fire bell. So we'll do 
do that, throw that in, and then we just need a level two, so this should be fine. We'll stop right there so we can grab this book. Okay, level two, please. There we go. Easy peasy. And we grab the book to finish. Oh, I, I've got a good name for this. Zeus's Mythological Tincture of Charm. So you get it? Because, like... Actually, no. I'm not going to explain that. Because if you, if you get it, you get it. And we don't need to have a talk about it. Uh, if you don't get it, wait till you're older. Save that. And we've got, what? One more? One more. Visibility Mana Bounce. This one's pretty easy, too. Okay. We'll start with the Witch Mushroom again, I think. I like that start for mana. So the goal will be do the mana, then do the bounce, and then finish with the invisibility, because it's the most remote. So we'll do that. We need one of each, so we'll just stop here, grab this. Keep going. Then we want to track slightly kind of like north-northwest. So I'm thinking we'd kind of overshoot so it's more of a northeast travel. And then we can do thunder thistles. Actually, probably just a single thunder thistle will do, so that's good. Bring this all the way around and up, and we're not dummy thick enough, but I mean, we're going that way anyways, so we can just do this. Line up our wind blooms for later. Hmm. That's a little frightening. I might do just a single wind bloom, not ground, followed by. Yeah. I love when it does that. <laughs> it has to, like, path into the, the cup because one of them fell in. Okay. We come around like this. Grab the level one on our way by. Center the map a little bit. And bring it all the way up. And over, and over, and over, and over, and done. So, magical, bouncing, <laughs> invisibility. Uh, uh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you even, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Save the recipe. Ugh, okay. But that's it. That's it. our albedo done, right? So we need to put... The Zeus's what's it called in there, and then the IDK goes in there. Boy, what a that's the perfect uh, container for an IDK as well. As well, there we go. Oh, it fills up just the middle. That's so cool. And then Zeus's mythological. What was it? Zeus's mythological tincture of charm. Wow. <laughs> I think that's it. A little concerned that this is over here, but I think that's for the uh, Citronidus later. Citronidus? I don't know. But it says we can brew, so let's see if we did it correctly. Wow. Oh, it has to go through all of them? <laughs> Empty all of them. Yes. Ooh, there we go. We've created Albedo. Citronitis recipe unlocked. Uh, cool. All right. So now we don't have any of the Negrito left, but We've got albedo done. Citrinidus is next. I bet you it uses this as well. Let's see how big of a recipe this is. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so we can do this one too. Looks like we've got some of the similar favorites. We've got, ooh, flight into level two charm. That's gonna be an interesting one. I might actually use like a, an earth pirate or something or a fire citrine for that. Yeah, it's not a terrible idea. Bounce into Berserker. That's gonna be tough. Frost. Oh my gosh. All of these are so... These are ridiculous. This is gonna burn so many ingredients. We do not have enough ingredients for this. Okay, but good to know. The only one that we can do right now, as of right now, is the Necromancy Potion. I'm starting to get a bit of a, a vibe. <laughs> Every single one of these has used death. Right? This one didn't... Oh, the first one didn't because we didn't really know about it back then, but... This Necromancy. This... Uh, necromancy. Void Salt? Necromancy. So that's actually double necromancy for Void Salt. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, look! The crystal changes color! 
Oh, that's so cool! That's so much better than the first one. But that also opened up uh, the life salt recipe, I bet. Hmm. You know, I was actually playing with... Oh, that might change things. If you can refill your potion bottle, you could set up a really efficient potion for getting to flight. The uh, levitation potion. Because when I was doing my testing, you can get to here, no problem. But the gap between here and there is too wide. You have to actually go into the bones. And then you can teleport across to safety. But you run out of health while traveling. I bet with the life uh, salt, what's it called? Yeah. I bet with the life salt, we could go into the bones. And by the way, this is pure speculation. I don't know what life salt is. But I bet you we could go into the bones. Maybe to this like spooky guy right here. So we like stand on spooky guy here. Refill our potion bottle, and then just like pop out here. If you were using the cloud crystals that I got for 90 gold, like these ones, that's way more efficient than going all the way around this. Because it's what, like one fire bell this way, uh, wind bloom, water bloom, water bloom, wind bloom, fire bell. Instead, you can just do cloud crystal, wind bloom. That stonks. Okay, there might be a, <laughs> there might be a solution. I might have to make a follow-up video. Expert guide to potion craft brewing. Crystals and life salt required. But for now, I think the day's over. Yep. I think the day is over. Yep. And our garden is empty. Our machine is cooling down. The ember is slowly burning. So I think that's a good day 43. Let's finish up the day and finish up the episode. Thank you for coming along for a pretty crazy potion brewing session. We're going to be trying, hopefully, to do the next one, Citronitis, on the next one, but that really exhausted my ingredients. The next set of ones are much tougher, like getting from frost to sleep, uh, not too bad, but getting from, wait, no, this isn't it. <laughs> that's why it's so easy. Getting from frost to poison to fire, that's going to be a lot of work. Getting from bounce to berserker, a lot of work. This one literally... <laughs> Hallucination to libido? Oh yes, understandable. Let me just... Let, let me just... Let me just go this way. Down. Uh-huh. And then over here. There's the start point. And then over this way. Down over here. Over across. And down over here. That's one potion. That's gonna be like 30 ingredients. <sighs> well... It gives us something to aim for we are going to have to stockpile a whole lot of ingredients because that's just one and there's like 12 maybe not 12. so until then thank you for coming along for day 43 of potion craft hit the like and subscribe if you like the content so far and outside of that thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one